Hello, if anybody's there. Right. Just as usual, just got to wait for my video feed. If there's anybody there who can join me this evening. Right, let's see if I get a live feed. Oh, it's a hot one. I can't even get my phone to scroll up because my fingers are so hot. I don't know if anybody's there, sorry, bear with me. No, I can't get a feed, sorry, excuse me. Hopefully I'll be with... No. Ah. Hello? Yes. Hello, sorry about that. My fingers are so hot I couldn't scroll on my phone. Right, I don't know who's there, but welcome. Bit of a hot one tonight. You'll have to bear with me. I have got a fan on. I don't know. I'm hoping that you can't hear it. It's just very small fan, so hopefully you can't. Anyway, we're off on our travels tonight. Uh, we're going to be making this box. Well, not making the box actually. It's it's one of our mini paper pumpkin boxes, which we're going to colour, and it's just got a sleeve made out of designer series paper, which just slips over. Hi, Nancy. It is hot, but I've got I've actually got the blind closed so this because I'm south facing, so the sun streams right in here. So hence why I've had to use I hope the lighting's okay. I've had to use artificial lighting tonight purely to sad to say to shut the sun out, but it's just too unbearable with the sun coming through and too too light unfortunately as well. It just blares everything out. But no worries. So anyway, we're making this. I say it's a little goodie box. I took that off and I didn't share. I, you have seen these mini paper pumpkin boxes before. I have showed this on a can't work out how to get it. There we go. So it's, I haven't got any goodies in it at the moment, but yep, there's lots of room for chocolate and all sorts in there. So it's a good sized box. But this is a very quick and easy project to make. And obviously, it doesn't have to be this paper, you could use pretty floral paper. But it's obviously, this just goes with the with the theme of traveling. I'm probably not going to get that on there very easily. Yep, there we go. So just to, and then we're making this card as well. I actually made a more complex card earlier on in the week. Um, but this is obviously using dies, so I'm trying to avoid using that. So I just did a, a simpler version just to show you that if you see a nice design that you like, you can always modify it and simplify it. Okay, it's not quite the same, but you know, just to, to if you haven't got dies or a die cutting machine, you can do that. Brilliant, thank you, Nancy. So that's what I thought I would do, just simplify it a little bit, but we'll start with the box first. I'm knocking everything over already, that's a good start. Right, here we go. So, uh, so we need that. I've got a bit of a different layer in my craft room at the moment, so I'm having to lean across. So we'll work in progress at the moment. I've had to change it around so I can fit my daughter's stuff in, basically, who's had to move back home. But we're getting there, slowly. Oh, that's gone over that side. Don't know which one. Yeah, that way. So if you'll notice, there's them um, lovely little decals like this on it. We've got some um, accessories in this suite. I'll just quickly show you this suite. If anybody who's not aware, it's the World of Good suite on page 24 in the main catalogue. It's all that. There's a lovely journal. There's gorgeous papers, designer series papers down here. And this is all the colours that are included. And there's some good samples on there as well to show you how you can use it. There are some excellent samples on the web, on the internet, there really are. So you're not spoilt for ideas at all, or lost for ideas. Right, anyway, we'll crack on. So we've got our mini paper pumpkin box, and all we're going to do is sponge brayer it. I have showed you this before, but... So we're just going to spray, uh, sponge it in misty moonlight, which is what the colour of the paper is. I'm just popping out the holes while I'm... Yeah, that's it. We can. Should we burnish it? Mm. Yeah, we'll burnish it. I'll burnish it beforehand. They're very firm, so you need a bit of a a bone folder just to burnish all your folds. But yeah, very quick and easy. These are just a very quick and easy way to make a box if you don't want to make it from scratch yourself. Should have found out the price, but they are very good value. I'll put the price and the code on the in the link afterwards. So 
you know, just make sure all your folds are burnished. Give it a little bit of time. Obviously, I'm going to probably flatten them out a little bit in a minute because I'm going to sponge it, but at least it's started it. Right, so Misty Moonlight. I've showed you how to sponge braid before, just to, just to quickly. So always forward, not backwards and forwards. Forwards, pick it up. Forwards, pick it up. Or you can go backwards and pick it up, but as long as you just go the same way. And then we're just probably not going to be able to get it all in screen because this box is quite, maybe if I do it that way. Hey Sandra, how are you? It may go a little bit patchy, but that really doesn't bother me because if you don't want it patchy, you just have to build more and more colour on it. Preferably try and get right across and then you wouldn't shouldn't get the lines and the these are completely food safe, these boxes. They've got like a coating. I don't know, yeah, you glossy coating inside, it's like a waxiness. So you can put food in and it's totally safe. So if you want to put cookies or something in it. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit patchy, but I like that. It's like a watercolour effect. That doesn't bother me. But if it does bother you, you just have to build it up more. Oh, everything's sticking to me. I'm so hot. Shouldn't complain though, but it's just very warm today. Well, it has been the last couple of days. We're lucky to have all this sun, really, I guess. Well, that's pretty much there. As I say, you can see it's a little bit streaky. Sometimes when you press too hard on the brow, it just makes it worse. So you can try and do light strokes. And so I could spend more time doing that. And then I see your little white. If you're really bothered about your white edges, you could do in there as well a little bit. But yeah, so hopefully you can see that. If you do that, you can cover cover the white bits. But it depends how fussy you want to be, really. I'm not going to be too fussy. Right, is that done? Right, I'm get rid of the briar now. So I'll just quickly make the box up, which is very easy. This is the top of it. Now it's going to be a little bit wet. Now I could dry that with an embossing tool, not an embossing tool, an embossing gun, heat tool. But what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to put that to the side for the moment in the hope to let that dry a bit maybe if I put it in front of the fan that would help but no, I'll put that over there and then just while we do this actually I can't because I need to do <laughs> no I can't do that because I need the box no scratch that I'm just going to be careful with my fingers so we'll make the box up these tabs all come in oh I didn't do those one this those At least the box will wipe out afterwards if there are any marks, which there are a few. And these, it's a little bit, you get those tabs in, for, I don't know if I can show you. I always put those tabs in first. And then you've got little holes that you're just pushing the tabs into down there. I don't know if you can see that. That's all you do. Same with this one. gets in the way the lid does there we go so put push them in tabs in and then them in the bottom and that's it and you've got your box like that so I'll wipe the fingerprints out later on just because I've used quite a strong dark colour right 
I'll just clean my fingers up a little bit. So then we've just got to do the wrap, which is 12, it's, it's a 12 inch sheet of paper, fully that way, 12 inches, and it's five and a half inches that way. And there is a pattern on this, this lovely paper, it's got um, astrology signs on, so just, yeah, so I think we'll have it that way. And obviously we want the seam at the back, so we're just going to fold it round and create just burnish around the box and then again there okay. try and line it up so you can see what I'm doing I'm just pinching it those edges it's easier than scoring it you can score it if you want to measure it all out and score it but what you can do now I've made the creases you can just go in and make them a little bit more firmer I do have to say this actually wasn't my idea, although there is one in the catalogue very similar, but they've covered the whole box rather than doing a, a slip or a case. But yeah, this is actually cased from somebody else off the internet. Um, I can't remember her name, but I will put her name in the link afterwards. And it's something in Stampin' Up! Uh, what we're encouraged to do. It's called casing or case, which is copy and share everything. We give each other ideas. Not no shame in doing it but on the whole I do like to do my own stuff some of the time but sometimes when you see other people's makes and you love them sometimes you just yeah you copy them or just mix them up a little bit or whatever you want to do so that just fits around there so now we just need to run some tape along there I will probably use my tape runner my stamp and seal you could use tape double sided tape I wouldn't use glue you could use glue but I wouldn't I'm probably better off with tape or the stamp and seal tape any tape runner I'm getting blue fingers everywhere and then just say line it up don't want it ultra ultra tight because obviously you do want to be able to slip it off or slip it on and off but that's it and so yeah that will that's a little bit tighter than my other one but it will slip off all right there's that so I've got inky fingers Now we're going to use the lovely faux suede ribbon, which I used last week as well. Let's get on the bits out here. And use linen, some of that. Right. So, how did we do this? Oh, yeah, I remember. So, this doesn't matter which you use for the top or bottom, but. Ah, no, sliders first. So here's the lovely, I've got a bit of a mixture gone here, we've got the hoops in here, but these are from the suite. You get um, corners, antique corners, which you can use in your memory and your albums and scrapbook, and, and they're double sided. One's got, see one's got like a, a little flourish and that one's got stripes. I'm trying to catch the light well. So you get them in the pack and these little sliders. Thread one of those on. Don't know where everybody else is this evening. Obviously, out yeah, enjoying themselves in the sunshine. So we'll do one there. I'll put a little bit of tape on the top. You can measure in. I measured in about an inch. I, I usually guess it, but I perhaps will measure it. Let me measure it. So it's even. So about there. I'm just going to put the tape. I'll do the same on the other side. the 
same about there. I don't want that quite as long as that. That's it. Got that stuck to my finger and it won't come off. Right, so back to what I was doing. Rub that. So you just want to go halfway on the tape, all the way round. These are good. You can obviously still slide these wherever you want to move them to, so that's not a problem. You just try and get it on as straight as you can. Tape it down and then cut the excess off just like that uh, not which way around we are oh yeah that's the top so you can see this is very quick and easy basically i mean you could put more labels and stuff on it if you wanted to put some die cutting on if you wanted to as well but i just kept it quite simple Again, just halfway. But you can see what I'm doing halfway. Push the slider bar up. Nice and tight at all. And there we go. You won't see those because we're going to cover those with a handle. So that's good. Right, the handle measures, mm, I can't remember now, five and a half inches, something like that. Yeah, there's a little bit more, about five and a half, and then you score at half an inch both sides. And then just to get some movement in it, that's going like that, you get your bone folder, otherwise the paper or the card slot will crack. So you just do that with your, you can do it with scissors, but I don't like doing it with scissors, I prefer the bone folder. And then we're just going to bend those back. So I think we'll use the tape runner again, stamp and seal. So just make sure you get plenty on. Didn't want to get it on there. And then the same here. As well you can see. There we go. place that so it's completely over the join and do it again and voila you've got your handle done apart from we're just going to put them lovely little gold things on which I thought I had they are here somewhere yeah here they are gilded gems sorry that's the word I love these just can never remember the name of them These are from the Ornate Garden Suite, I believe. So use two of the big ones or one, of the, one each each side. Just to finish it off to look like grabs or screws in your suitcase, really. So there we go. And all we've got to do is a label. And then work out what I'm going to put inside it. I know double, I think I showed before, double deckers fit in. Definitely three. I'm not sure, quite sure if you can get four in. What else did I try before? Oh, the bags, bags of sweets like M&M's, munchies. They, they kind of fit. Well, munchies definitely did. I need that. And what we're going to do is Life's a Beautiful Journey. This is early espresso, the, what we've used, the cardstock and that, so that's what I'm going to ink it in. Sorry, I'm probably off the screen a bit now. It's getting used to this slightly new setup. I've got a new, different worktop. I'm having to readjust a little bit. Be mindful of where I am. There's that. Uh, so 
so I'm fussy cutting that out. Using a oh I can never remember what this is called. Taylor Tag Punch, is it? It's in the main catalogue anyway. Because I don't have many punches. A lot of mine retired. I do need to buy some more of the shaped ones, definitely. Excuse me, I'm just gonna have a quick drink. Right, let me just quickly cut this out. Yeah, I don't have a punch that fits this in, so but I'm not sure if there is one that would fit it. There probably is. Goodness me, look, look at my hands. Look, <laughs> that blue's really stained them. It will come off. I've got a special uh, scrubby thing that will get it off. Now, as usual, moving the cardstock and hardly moving the scissors, and that helps you to get your nice curves. It's, it's just practice, fussy cutting, as it really is. I've been doing it for quite a while, so kind of probably got a bit faster at it best to you know take it slowly and and just keep practicing that's it now how did I do that I think I put that on with <laughs> yeah I did use dimensionals Apart from the punching the hole, now, I don't know where my cropper has gone that I used last week. That's somewhere in amongst the mess in here where we've been sorting. So I've had to find my um old one, my old Stampin' Up one. It's such a shame they don't do these anymore. I don't know what. Well, I guess they didn't sell very well, but. I'm amazed that they did if they didn't. I used to have a couple of different sizes, they were really handy. Oh, I know I didn't, uh, I did ink the other one. I haven't bought a spare sponge, so you can sponge round it if you like. That's does it makes it stand out a little bit, it makes it look a bit grungy, which is nice. And we've got our lovely linen thread. Love this. This is good for all sorts of things on your cards as well. The tie and things it's lovely for. Don't need that either. And this is how I do it. I always loop it in half. You probably all know this. Thread it through. And then thread the two ends through the loop and it catches it just like that and then just tie it where you want it on your handle I have it a little bit so it hangs down a little bit so not ultra tight that's it and then cut off the excess And that's it. Job done. So as I say, you can decorate it more if you want to too. Hey Catherine, how are you? So yeah, that's done. So we're going to the card. Told you it was easy, quick and easy. Twenty less than twenty minutes. Well about twenty minutes by the time I start stop speaking and talking. Uh we'll just actually I forgot to show you these. I'll quickly show you these are the dies if you've got a die cutting machine. Uh so yeah, you've got your two globes that can cut out metal not metal but um your metallic cardstock sorry and this this is what i used on the card base here so that's done in brass you've got your die for your stand you've got some flourishes that obviously cuts out your stamped globe you've got another different type of stand 
and it cuts out your feather and then you've got something that's a little bit of embossing here which I did use on here but I don't know if you can see it but just yeah it's just quite subtle so yeah dies are lovely as well right here we go card right that's the card we're doing So we're doing a little bit of embossing tonight, white and gold. This is where I might have to turn the fan off, I think, because I'm going to have uh, powder blown everywhere otherwise. We'll see. We'll see how we go. I'm trying to put that so you can see it. Yeah. So let me just show you. So on this card, there's a die. I don't know if I should. Yeah, there's a die in a set, which, like this which is how I created that. So it basically cuts right through the cardstock and that's the base layer showing through. But instead of using that, because obviously not everybody has a die cut machine, I've just swapped it for a little bit of designer series paper, which is just yeah, our standard one in the main catalog. So you can see it gives a sim well different effect, but it still works. So just to show you that if you see the design like that on a card, you can always change it with keeping with the same sort of theme or the same uh, what's the same template sort of thing but you just have to uh, accommodate it to what to whatever you've got it's just a good technique to get, or a good way of getting into used to used to um things if you haven't got a set and stamp set or set and die set change it up use something else you don't have to copy it directly it's just you know you just have to think a little bit or oh, what can I, what else can i use instead right, i'm just get myself organizing for embossing Embossing Buddy, which I keep saying, I don't know why it went, but it did. But you can buy them elsewhere. But yeah, we don't do that. I would, you really do need one for embossing. All right, I'm just going to put that there because I'm going to lose it. So right, I'm just going to turn the fan off quickly. Uh, right, we're doing the white first. Doing the globe. So as usual. This is um shimmery, our shimmery white cardstock, by the way, because we're doing a bit of watercolour and rather than using watercolour paper, because that's a little bit too textured for my liking most of the time. So plenty of Versamark. Straight down. That's it. I'll clean that in a minute. And then our white powder on. I'm off screen, I realise now, but yeah, that's got that on. Now you could do the gold over, uh, but I don't want any mixing or overspill of powders, so I'm going to do one, dry, uh, yeah, heat it, and then do the other, do the gold on top. So there's my gun. That's it. And that. So now we do the gold. Now I noticed on mine I did my gold earlier. It didn't take on the white very well. So let's see if it does this time. I just don't think sometimes it likes embossing on top of other embossing, but we'll see. So we've got that. Oh, and I need to do some. So I need to get some white cardstock because we need a feather and the ink well as well in gold. So. Right, maybe if I did the embossing buddy again, that might help. God, I'm so sweaty. Not that you need to know that, right? Now, bearing in mind that you want this to go flush. Oh, mine was mine went a little bit too far at the at the globe for my liking. Not that it's an issue, but you've got to remember you've got a little lip there. But I think I gave it too much leeway, so you've got to imagine. No, I can't get my head over, so you've got to try and imagine where the stamp starts. Hello, Pat, how are you? So we're just going to, so yet again, I can't get my head over, so it's quite tricky. 
I just guess that it's there. Yep, that's better than before. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all, apart from it's not covered there very well. Uh -oh. Yeah, mm, that's not good. I think I might have to try and... Hmm, I obviously didn't press hard enough with the Versamark, right. I'm going to have to heat that and then try and line it up. That's going to be tricky. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. No, that's because I obviously didn't press hard enough on the verse mark. So what we'll do instead of going over it, because I think lining that up would be really difficult. What I will do when it comes to the paper, we'll just hide it with the paper. So there's always usually a way around it, because even I make mistakes as well. So just to show you, there's we can get around it. So we don't need that. We need a feather. So I've got to make sure. I pressed down properly. Hi, Laura. No worries. Yeah, you missed the beginning of the, the, me making the case, but that didn't take long. But obviously, you can always watch the replay. So, make sure I press firmly this time. Stamp there, and then we've got the little ink well. Just do that up there. Now there are dies for this as I showed you but I will be fussy cutting it just to show you you can fussy cut a lot of images out. Maybe not as quite as good as the dies but and when I first saw that I thought I'd missed it the little bit of white but it's it's because the stamp's got um reflection on it. So when you emboss it there's nothing you can do about that. But it's still it'll have a little bit of reflection on it. With the embossing at the end of the day. Oh, right, I'll put my fan back on. Thank you. Notice the difference when that's not on. As long as it doesn't blow my first mark off this. Right, I'll keep it away from it. Ouch. I'll just leave them for a second or two. Don't need those at the moment. All right, so now we can just go in. Oh, yeah, I've got a little bit more gold embossing on here. I did um, some ink splatters, which aren't in the set, unfortunately. But mo uh, there's a lot of stamp sets we've got, a lot of stampin' up ones where you get the odd little splatter. Or, yeah, if you look at, at if you've got any stamp sets, you'll f often find an odd rogue one or a flower center, maybe. And in my new whale dome, which I haven't actually stamped with yet, and I can't wait because it's brilliant, there's some, I guess they're meant to be bubbles, but to me, they look like ink spots. So I will be using that one, which I've already got out already. So just to show you that. But yeah, when you start looking at some of the stamp sets, you'll, you can always find something usually that you can do for, for some spot. If not, you can splatter it yourself with different techniques. I'll have to show you that in the future. Um, water brush. So our lovely new water painters, I'm just going to use two different coloured inks. I went in with blue first, and I should be using re-inkers really, strictly speaking, but I didn't get them out. So I'm being a little bit naughty, as long as I don't, well the water won't go in because they hang upside down anyway, but I'll always just dry them out afterwards, dry this bit out that gets wet. Right, so we're aiming to cut all the globe in with the blue basically or most so and then just just go in with a wash all over really hi leslie how are you ah oh, bless you you've got to do your groups again so kind of just going really randomly over to so the globes all colored in the blue get a nice background not difficult at all. Hopefully you can see that. It's quite a light coloured blue, but it looks darker. 
in reality on here. Good, glad to hear it. That you will. Right, that's that done with. And then the green, and then what I'm going to do, I don't want to do that. And I'm going to try and direct the green over where the white is. It'll, you'll see what I mean. I'll try and go around the white. Right. These inks are a lot harder to press. That's why the, it's ideal to use the reinkers, really. A little bit of water. So I'm going to aim it over the glow, but trying to keep a bit of the blue as well. Yeah, quite happy with that. So hopefully you can see that. Totally random. Just getting two of the colours in there. Very easy. Right, get rid of those inks. Now what colour do I Oh no, I'm using gold. Ah yes, yeah, so we've got to do the sentiment in gold as well. That's good. I'm going to leave that to dry for a little while. Should have done that while I was doing it. I thought I'd been I was done with the embossing. Uh, I need some more cardstock then. It's very vanilla. And it is very vanilla. Hmm. I should have some in here somewhere. Yeah, that's right. I think. As long as that's no just. I'm going to get that out. I might do it twice just in case. In case I miss it. Right. So. Need a stamp block rather. So you make the world a better place. You can see on my original card I did. I cut it apart. Which you can do. And spaced it out. But on this one. I'm just doing it as a large sentiment. Obviously keeping it in the theme of the globe. Keeping it in a circle. Basically, because I have to be honest, I didn't have, as I said, I didn't have a punch that would that would fit in. Uh, reverse the mark again. So yeah, I'm going to do this twice, just as backup, really. Just going to make sure, yeah, it will fit. Right, reverse the mark. Come on, powder. Fan off again. Right, here we go. Uh, am I signed up? No, not yet, Leslie. I am def almost definitely doing it though. And if I do it, I will do the swag bag as well. I don't know if you've been to one stage before. It's going to be very different from regular on stage, obviously. But I still believe it's going to be pretty good. And hopefully, some of us are going to get together as a team, so that will be good as well. Yeah, my the trouble with me is I'm I've got FOMO, I've got fear of missing out, so I don't not sign up to it in case I miss out on something which was, you know, pretty good. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever be as good as a, a live event, but at the moment there's nothing Paul Stampin' Up can do about it really, is there? So I'm pretty sure they're gonna do all they can to make it as fun as possible. So yes, in answer I haven't done it yet because I've been too busy today, but hopefully tomorrow I will be. <laughs> good yeah you, you'll love the bags but if, if it's anything like we normally get on stage you get well you, i think they've they've pointed out what we get don't they you'd get last year you always get a stamp set you get your pin badges you get a bag you get um uh, some notebooks usually pens usually i don't know if we're getting that this time so yeah they are they are worth having to collect i mean i've yeah i've i've been a demo for six years i been to a lot of the on stages several times a year so yeah you can imagine i've got quite a few now so but yeah it, it will be good i'm pretty sure it will anyway i'm sure you'll enjoy it if it's your first one it's just a, such a shame it's not your first real one in real life but
just to explain that for anybody who doesn't know, where they usually hold them. Ah, well, in this country, it can either be it's either been at Telford at the International Centre because that's a huge venue, uh, but it has been in Solihull at the um, oh, is it the Motorcycle Museum or beside there? It's a big hotel stroke conference place, and um, yeah, but last year obviously we went to Dortmund in Germany. That was for the for live on stage. That was fabulous. That was my first one abroad. So, yeah, that was a bit overwhelming, if I'm honest, but to the point, it, it's fabulous. So, but there's just so much going on and so many people there. But fantastic environment, fantastic. Yeah, you'd, the atmosphere is just out of this world, basically. Can you imagine that, like, you know, five or six, I think it was like seven or eight thousand demos all getting together in the same room? You can just imagine what it's like. Very, very good atmosphere. Excuse me, I'm another drink. Me. And for anybody who doesn't know, who's not a demo, uh, on stage is basically like a conference where all as demos, whether we're hobby, business demos, whatever, go and get together. What am I looking for? Sorry, I'm not thinking. Uh, Granny Apple Green. Yeah. Get together and yeah, we get training. We get we get to see the new catalogue. We get goodies. We get to meet everybody. It's just yeah, it's phenomenal really. We do, we do swapping with people if you want to. You don't have to do that. You've never done embossing before? Really, Leslie? Oh, my gosh. I've been embossing for probably, I can't remember, yeah, probably 30 years. And it still amazes me, especially gold. Gold's my favourite because it's so wow when you do it. Oh, you've got to do embossing, especially at Christmas time. You need embossing in your life at Christmas time, that's for sure. Yes, fabulous technique. Simple, but yeah, wow. Still wows me, as I say. Oh, you haven't seen embossing. Well, I better do some more embossing techniques, I think, then. There we go, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's. When it doesn't, sometimes it does pit a little bit. As I say, on here, this one, it went a bit dull, but I think that's because it was embossing on other embossing. But when it goes right, which is most of the time, look at that. I mean, you can see the D. I I don't know if you can see the detail, how it shines. And obviously it's slightly raised. It looks so much better in the flesh than it does on camera as well. So, right, excuse me. I'm going to put the fan back on. Right, here we go. So now I've just got to do a little bit of fussy cut on here, and then we can just put all the card together. Everything should be dry. <laughs> I'm afraid, yeah, there'll be a lot of embossing in the catalogue. But there's, yeah, there's numerous techniques you can do with embossing as well. It's, oh yes, Joseph's coat. Can't think off the top of my head, but yeah, there'll be there'll be a lot of techniques you can use with embossing. It's it's a staple, really. Yeah, definitely, you see the 3D effect. But yeah, I, lo I love embossing. It's one of my favourites. As you can probably tell, because I do it quite a lot of my lives. I probably haven't done it for a while, for a couple of weeks. So I was ready to get back to it. And just to go back to on stage, if anybody doesn't know, on stage is for um, demonstrators, basically, say so where we all meet up at a convention, get to see the catalogue before time, well before time. We'll go in November, or we'll, we'll have it in November, ready for January's catalogue. Build, it just builds the excitement and saying get a little bit of training on all the products, how to use them. So so that in, a, in turn helps all our lovely customers and our viewers. So that's what it's all about. But it's just lovely for us to all catch up, meet old friends, meet new people, meet the uh, yeah. Honestly, we met. I didn't meet Sarah because um Sarah Douglas was our CEO in. America but I did meet her mum and had a photo taken with her mum because she didn't have a, such a massive queue as Sarah did or Sarah so um, yeah and I had a photo taken with Sarah's hubby and Shelley her mum's husband so that was lovely it was all very exciting and to be with our team so yeah if you ever become a demonstrator it's one of the perks you obviously have to pay for it, but you do it's it's worth it. You get a lot of a lot of goodies for your money. And obviously if when you yeah, this year we're not going away, it's gonna be at home, so we haven't got to pay for accommodation. So 
So maybe not quite so much fun, but we haven't got the outlay either, so that's all good. Right, so lay that on this paper just as you. So that's like a wood grain this side, and on the other side it's writing. I believe it's mm, well, that's French or German. Some of it's to love what we do and share what we love, which is our Stampin' Up motto. But yeah, so it's in different languages basically. So you can put it whichever way around you like. And don't forget that I've got to hide my blip, so. Yeah, I'm glad sometimes I make mistakes on my lies, I say, because I do, and then it's showing you how you can get around it, really. That's my excuse. But as I say, with, with handmade stuff, it's never all, well, not always perfect, is it, so. I can show you ways to get round it all well and good. So, oh, a little bit of glue is in there. Still a little bit damp, which so I could get the heat tool, but I won't bother. I'll just go for it. So I'm using stamp and seal again. Wherever I've done it, put it. Right, it's hiding. There it is. And if anybody didn't see my tops tip top tips Tuesday this morning, I explained about card bases, how we make our card bases, the layers and mats. Just gave you a little bit of an explanation of what sizes I use. It's not it's pers it's up to you basically. And hope just give you yeah a little bit of a rundown of how we get get them and why we do the sizes we do. So if that interests you head to my YouTube channel or on my business Facebook business page and I did put a link there so oh that's got a mark on it now oh that's come off so there's that yeah I won't go into all the layers but so that's that's what makes a car professional looking basically once you get mat matting and layering it's it's one of the things that Creates yeah that professional feel. I hope you got my email back, Nancy. Did you? You yeah, you asked me some great questions. So that was really good. I love it when people ask me questions. And I can answer them. So I hope what I explained was helpful. If not, please yeah get back to me. Oh, I've just realised that base is... Ha uh, ha, I know what I did. Ah, silly me. Oh, here, here we go, I've just realised. You're probably thinking, wait, this is just... I did that upside down, that's why that looks... <laughs> I've just realised now. Oh, no wonder that looks different. Yes, yeah, silly me, that's meant to be that way, look. Oh, well, you can see I was doing it in a hurry today. I was rather busy. I had a dental appointment this morning, plus my hair cut. Plus getting ready for my live tonight, so end of the video. So busy day. <laughs> oh well. Oh dear, that's funny. Good, as long as they help you, Nancy. Oh dear, fancy putting upside down. Oh, won't be the first time, won't be the last, no doubt. I thought that looked a bit strange. But yes. It would help when if I put it up the right way, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, no, I didn't get your no. Thank you, Nancy. I will take a look. I must admit, so I haven't looked at my emails for a couple of hours because I'm um, have been very busy cooking the tea as well, and just yeah, it's been a busy day. But thank you. I will get it. And don't forget the paper pumpkin, the mini, pa uh, not mini, sorry, the special limited edition paper pumpkin has now gone live as of yesterday. I haven't got that. I'll be ordering one of those tomorrow. Oh, gosh. And hopefully I will make one up in a, in a live next week. Saying that, my daughter, my youngest daughter is coming home for a few days, so I may have to change the night, the day when I do my Facebook live. But I hope to still do one. But just got to be a little bit flexible. 
because I don't really, you know, if we want to go out somewhere to the beach, I don't know, in an evening. But yeah, I will endeavour to still do one. No worries, Nancy, you certainly will. Yep, I'll let you know. I'm sure I did. It's just me being, yeah, not looking, checking my emails recently. So yeah, I will endeavour to do one next week because I can't wait to sh to share this the paper pumpkin with you. Because I say anybody who doesn't know, we don't get paper pumpkin in the in UK or n none of Europe does. Just the United States and parts of Canada, I believe it is. So there are, sub I believe that they subscribe to them once a month. It's a it's a kit. You don't get them. It's completely different from the catalogue. But although sometimes they coordinate it with things in the catalogue. And they're just brilliant. I have, I am lucky to say that I have got a few because I've got an American friend, thank you, Diane, who did gift me a few. And then, yeah, Shelley bought out a special one last year. God, that was lovely. And this one is, yeah, Box of Sunshine. So it's yellow themed. And I'm not meant to know what's inside, but I have been naughty and already checked on YouTube, seeing some of the American demos. And, um, yeah, it's, the stamp set is lovely. Can't wait to get it. And it's twenty pound for and I, I don't think it makes eight cards, but you get a stamp set. Don't quote me on that. And but you get a stamp set to keep with it as well. So you can use whatever. Right. Are we nearly there? I think we are. Oh, I know what I haven't done, and I've stuck it on. Oh, cardinal sin. Stuck it down before doing some more embossing, but hey hey. I'm making a lot of errors tonight, but we'll get there. Not really errors, it's just the way I do things, but yeah. I think the heat's um affecting my brain. I don't know, it's just um I don't know. First and last again. I'm gonna do it the naughty way, I'll do it. Got a few ink spodges basically. Yes, right. And just get a, yeah, if you get any stray specks that you don't want on there, just get a dry paint brush and you can flick them off. Eight cards to a four dozen. Thank you, Leslie. I thought it was, but I didn't, yeah. I always doubt myself. I take it you've ordered yours, have you already? Because I just haven't had time today. I will be placing an order, a little order tomorrow, a few things, that being one of them. And obviously doing my on stage in me as well. Right, here we go. Last bit of embossing. Good for you. There you go. You can see now, that's why you don't do it on the card because it kind of um, bends it a little bit, but that'll flatten out. So hopefully you can see that just to create a little bit of ink splodge. Don't need that. So if I hadn't have done a second one, I would have probably made a mistake because I did two as a backup. It went okay, isn't it? It's called something, but I won't say it on camera. Uh, little mini dimensionals this time. What are we doing for time? Oh, it's taking me longer than I thought it would tonight. I thought they'd be quite quick tonight. I did do them and I would whether to make another card or not, but I thought no. Be here to midnight otherwise. Link well. Uh, just put that there. And voila, we're done. No worries, Leslie. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.
There we go. All done. So it's better than the original because goodness, but you can see what I did wrong. Yeah, definitely that sits on there better. So don't do like I do. Do it correctly and don't get it upside down. Right, let's just flip you over. So there. That was a fun experience, wasn't it? We got there eventually. You can see I've had my hair all chopped off. I've gone quite short. It's lovely and this is cool. Yeah, it's lovely just to be a bit cooler. So, yeah, thank you all for joining me. And as I say, if anybody is interested in the Box of Sunshine Paper Pumpkin Kit, I did advertise it on my Facebook page uh, probably last week sometime. Uh, if you And I think I did the video as well. If, but if you want a little bit more information, so it's meant to be a secret to us. We're not actually meant to know the contents. But because America had it, Back in June, I think it was, we kind of, they've, they've started posting on YouTube, which is brilliant for us, because we get to, you know, you can, if you don't want to see it, don't look on YouTube. Sorry, that light's face. Oh, I'll just put that away. Yeah, if you don't want to see it, don't look on there. But if you do, you can look and you can have a little bit of a sneak peek, which I like, you know. I like secrets, but I, I just want to see what the stamp set was like, so. Thank you, Les, um, Nam, I keep calling Leslie, Nancy, thank you. Yeah, I feel better having it a bit short. I've just got to. Wait to have it coloured again because um but yes thank you all for joining me and yeah anybody wants a box of sunshine paper pumpkin i think it's great value and i'm not just saying that for eight cards you get the box you get the stamp set and you get all the bits with it and you can make alternate you can do alternate things with it as well you don't have to do what they say in the um, instructions but let me know and if not i will see you next week sometime to say because my daughter's coming home not quite sure she's coming home tuesday so not quite sure what evening I can do so I, I won't see her again till Christmas so I'll spend a little bit of time with her because she lives in Cambridge which is yeah a little bit bit well over an hour away's drive for me so yeah and she'll be busy starting her new placement job with with uni so um just want to spend a bit of time so but thank you all for joining me and I will see you soon take care thank you bye